There are a ton of countries out there in the world with professional leagues and professional teams. And as a young player looking to sign your first professional contract, you wanna to go to the place where there is the best chance of you becoming a pro. The country with the fewest obstacles standing between you and a professional contract. So which country is it? Well, let's roll the intro and let's get into it. The best country for you to start your professional career in is the country or the countries where you are considered a domestic player. A domestic player basically means that you're not considered a foreign player and you won't take up a foreign roster spot. For example, I was born here in the United States and my family's been here for a few generations, so I'm only considered a domestic player for professional teams and professional leagues in the United States. In every other country in the world right now, I'm considered a foreign player. I'm lucky. Now, if somewhere out there there's a player with Canadian Canadian and German passports, they could hit the jackpot. Their Canadian citizenship means that they could be a domestic player for the professional leagues and professional teams in Canada and the United States. And their German passport could qualify them as a domestic player for a handful of different countries and leagues in Europe. It might not seem fair, but that's how life works. But why? Why is it easier to play in a country where you're considered a domestic player? The first and main reason why is foreign roster spots. Most professional leagues out there in the world have a limit for the number of foreigners that each team can sign. Some professional leagues out there in the world have only three foreign roster spots per team. Back in 2015, I went on trial with Throtter FC, which is a team in Iceland's second division. And at the time, they already had signed two foreign players. So they only had one foreign roster slot available. And what they did is they brought two other foreigners and me into trial with the team for that final roster spot. And spoiler alert, I didn't get the contract. After the trial, I had a long talk with the coach and he sat me down and he said, look, you're definitely good enough to play for this team, but you just weren't good enough for that final foreign roster spot. So as a domestic player looking to sign your first professional contract, you could be competing for 27 plus spots on a team. But as a foreigner looking to sign your first professional contract, you can be competing for as few as three roster spots on a team. And to make things even more difficult, teams typically save their foreign roster spots for their marquee players, their better players. Majority of the time, the players that are gonna fill those roles are coming from other professional leagues abroad. Not always, but usually. And finally, signing a foreign player is way more expensive for the club than signing a domestic player. It can be very expensive to obtain a visa for the foreign player. It can be expensive to relocate and house the foreign player. And overall, it's just a much bigger hassle than dealing with a foreign player than a domestic player. So you can't just be good enough to make that professional team. You need to be worth the extra costs and hassle associated with signing you. Being a foreigner can make that already extremely difficult process of signing your first pro contract even more difficult. So the easiest country to become a pro is typically the one where you're considered a domestic player. I can already see the comments flooding in right now about how their country doesn't have a professional league system or an academy system or their country isn't a good place to become a pro or whatever. And my answer to everyone that's gonna comment that is it's unlucky. It's unlucky that you're born into a country where you don't have the privilege of great academy systems or professional league system, but there is something that you can do. You just need to climb to the absolute highest height that you can get to in your own system, your own country, your own bubble, whatever, and perform there to attract the attention of coaches, scouts, agents that can bring you to a foreign team abroad. But the key word there is perform. I've personally known players that were born in very tough conditions in countries like Pakistan or Cuba, or players that were born into little tiny islands with no professional league system there like Grenada, and they're able to build a professional career for themselves by doing exactly that in their country, in their cities, wherever, they reach the highest heights they can, even if it's not professional, perform, and then use the contacts they've built there to push onto other countries, to other professional teams. So anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry that I can't just give a blatant answer and be like, Canada. Canada is the easiest country to go pro in, but it's not. The easiest country to go pro in, honestly, is the one that has the least amount of obstacles for you, and that's typically where you're considered a domestic player. So if you guys like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace.